Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist, and in this QuickBooks uh, Desktop 2019 tutorial, I want to show you how to reconcile your bank account in QuickBooks. Okay, so when I say reconcile bank account, you know, for some people that, you know, what does that mean? That can be a little bit confusing. Okay, if you think about it, just like you know, if you have like an old school checkbook, you know, the the paper checkbook, and you know, you get your statement in the mail and, you know, you pull out your checkbook and you flip over the statement and there's a little table on there where you can reconcile. Okay, reconcile just basically means you're just matching the balance that you show in your records to the balance with the bank. Okay, so in QuickBooks, we're doing the exact same thing, uh, except we're doing it electronically. Okay, so we're going to check off what's cleared and we're going to show what hasn't cleared and we're going to basically match this with the bank. Okay, so this is important. You need to do this every single month in QuickBooks with all of your bank accounts. All right, so what we're going to do to start this process, okay, so let's take a, an example is this at the end of the month or whenever you're going to get your bank statement, if you still get it in the mail or if you get it electronically. Okay, so you're going to pull out your statement and you're going to go over here to reconcile. All right. Now, another place you can do that is you can go down over here to the drop down menu, banking, reconcile. Okay, multiple ways to get to things in QuickBooks. All right, so we're going to click on reconcile and you'll see it brings up this box. All right. So the first thing is we want to choose the account. Okay, so it's defaulting to our one checking account. And then we're going to put the statement date. So whatever that statement date is, we're going to put that on there. This beginning balance should match what the beginning balance on the bank statement is. Okay, if it doesn't, okay, you've got to do some digging and figure that out. Okay, so now the ending balance, we're going to take that directly from the bank statement. Okay, so in this example, we're going to say 71,426.52. Okay, and then you're going to record any service charges or any interest earned. Okay, and you're going to have to put those to the appropriate account. All right, so let's assume none. We're going to hit continue. Okay, so it's going to bring up this screen. And you're going to see there are checks and payments down this side and deposits and credits down this side. So the first thing you want to do is you want to hide transactions after the statement end date. Okay. All right. So now you're going to go and you're going to look at your bank statement and you're going to see what has cleared. Okay. So if it shows up on the bank statement and it shows up on here, you're going to put a check mark next to it. This means it's basically cleared on the bank statement. Okay. And then you're going to go down here and we're going to check off uh, all of the items that cleared. Okay. So in this example, the first four items here cleared and then this deposit cleared and that's all that cleared for the statement. Okay. Now, how do you know when you have reconciled? Well, one main way I'll show you that, but first, if you look down here that says items you have marked cleared, these should match your bank statement. So your bank statement should say there's one deposit for 4135.50 and four checks and payments for 4161. Those total should match your bank statement. Okay. Now the other way is right here. This difference needs to be zero. Okay. That means that you have reconciled. If it doesn't equals zero and you click reconcile now, it's going to put an adjustment in your QuickBooks. Okay. So for example, if we, you know, that's your goal is to get that to zero. So if we check this off on accident, you'll see that the difference is $300. Okay. You've got to go through and figure out where that is. Okay. Now, while you are reconciling, okay, if you need to make some changes to the ending balance or the service charges, you can click that modify and it'll take you back to this screen. Okay. Um, if you need to go to one of these uh, transactions, you can double click it. It'll take you to the transaction. You know, maybe for some reason it was from a debit card and you recorded it wrong and you just need to change it in QuickBooks, double click it, change it, and then hit save and close. Okay. And it's going to take you back over here. Okay. So the goal is to get this to zero. Okay. Now you need to do this every single month. Um, 
you know, get on a schedule, have a process and make sure that you get this done every month. So let's say that we're at zero and we hit reconcile now. Okay. It's going to bring up this screen. Congratulations. You can select reconciliation report. Uh, you can display it, print it, close it. Let's put it in display. You can always go back and pull up these reports in QuickBooks later. Okay. So you see, we've got the reconciliation summary. And if I go to view my open window list, we've got a reconciliation detail, which shows all the details. Okay. And you're done. You have reconciled your bank statement. All right. All right. Any questions, you know, head on over to QuickBooks University. We'd love to have you become a member over there at qbuniversity.org, where I walk you step by step just like this on how to use QuickBooks, every aspect. And I also answer your personal questions. qbuniversity.org.